Hope you guys had a great Easter. Luckily, my family was in town because we were all together for Easter, so I really wanted them to be on the video with me. This is Tawny, and this is Taryn. So, what we wanted to talk to you all about was what our service was yesterday at church, and it was really cool. So, I'll let Tawny start off with kind of her thoughts on it, and we can just... Well, shout out to our sister Kendra, because she's sick. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. Like she had a little here. too many peeps. And uh, she's not able to record with us. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> right. So, anyways, uh, you know. <laughs> she had too many peeps. And uh, it really got to her. Excuse me. Oh. So, anyways. Oh, I hate peeps. <laughs> marshmallows. The marshmallows. Marshmallows. So, ta actually, Taryn's going to start us off and share the verse that service was about yesterday and then we'll um kind of discuss from there so one of the verses from yesterday was ephesians 5 14 and it says for anything that becomes visible is light therefore it says awake O sleeper and arise from the dead and christ will shine on you mm. and i just thought it was such a powerful verse just thinking about how so many people are you know bombarded by what they've done in the past and it still is coming up in their life today and Christ rose for all of our sins. No matter what you did, it's forgiven. So instead of hanging on to that, just let it go. <laughs> let it go. Let it really? go. Really? Yeah. And we can all insert the Frozen song there. But it's awesome if you really think about that mm -hmm. verse and you think about the meaning behind it and that someone died for you and nothing that you could do could ever make him love you less. I mean, that's incredible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, um... Like she said, the verse says, awake, O sleeper, and, and be raised from the dead. So we are grateful, obviously, for what Christ did for us, because him choosing to die for us is huge. It's a huge sacrifice. And at the same time, there's a bigger picture of why he did that. And it was to mm -hmm. save us. But in the middle of our life here and our eternal life, it's that we can be free during our life here on earth. So like Taryn said, um, you know, we... We have to realize that, and, and Easter's wonderful, and it's, you know, we we are grateful for it, and everybody goes to church, and, you know, it's a beautiful day, and we get new dresses, but we're really celebrating that we're free, and that He's given us freedom from everything we've done. So instead of walking in that shame and that guilt, be free of that today, and start living a life where you realize there's grace and there's mercy, and I'm so grateful for that, because I know that, you know, I've had times where I've made tremendous mistakes, and have you know, been down for a while and thought he's never going to forgive me for this and I've hidden from him. And when you realize that his grace is unconditional, um, it's, j there's just so much freedom in that. So I pray that everyone would, would walk in that freedom starting today. Mm -hmm. It's just an awesome feeling knowing that you're not bound by the stuff in your past. You get to walk away from it Thank because, God. Yes, Thank God. God. Yeah. because he rose from the dead to symbolize, hey, I'm arising from this. You can get away from it too. You get to start new and be a new person and live for me and just have your life reflect me. It doesn't have to be about all the stuff that you've done because that doesn't matter. It's what you're going to do and what you're going to do for him. So it's just, it's awesome. It's an awesome thing. Like and we when we, do you guys feel like too, when we stay in that and we're like, we're down all the time, we can't forgive ourselves. It's like, we're telling him what you did wasn't enough. And I can't forgive myself, so mm -hmm. therefore I'm not going to accept your grace. It's almost like an insult, if mm -hmm. you think about it, to what he did. Mm -hmm. The biggest sacrifice by saying, I just can't get over it. You know, I just, I, I did this. You'll never forgive me. It's like a slap in the face to Christ, if you really think about it. So, mm -hmm. and, um, yeah. And I don't know if you guys saw my video a few weeks ago about forgiving yourself. Okay. That plays plays along with what she's talking about. You have to forgive yourself and move forward with that because he's already forgiven you and I mean that's that's all you can do you can't hold on to it because he's not holding on to it so why should you and just remember that you are that important that someone died for you and already took away all of that for you you don't have to carry it you're that important and that special and that loved by someone mm -hmm. that's incredible and I hope that you guys will remember that this week as you go about your day as you go about the week and just know that someone loves you so much that he literally gave his life for you. That's, it's incredible. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 
Well, hope you guys had a great Easter with your families and friends, and hope you guys have a blessed week, and we will talk to you guys soon. Bye! Bye!